everything's sprayed, man. Y'all good. Hey, Ryan, y'all good. Hey, Jay, everything's sprayed over here. You feel me? We mastered. You asked me. Everything's sprayed up in here. How you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah, off the shelf. Now everything's sprayed up. Get off a shot, Yes, sir. I'm in my Detroit Velvet, Jay. Hey, I'm about to head down there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, I think so. They want you in right now. You got the phone? Come on, yeah. You got the phone. No, I don't. There you go. I gave that shit to, uh, to Bridge. Because it was a pass hold on. Who's that? I should have held it for me. Hey, how you doing? You good? <laughs> we didn't find that phone. I'm good. Those things for these guys. JJ, you said that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, tell him you what's next. Right. Yeah, I got you. Tell me what Nick. Nick. NEXT. So you guys, I want to bring y'all this video on Jaden Hardy just because not too long ago on draft day, Jaden was spotted at the Big Baller Brand Mansion with LaMelo Ball and Jermaine Jackson. So this video, I just want to talk about this and just give you guys my opinion on why I feel like Jaden Hardy most likely would go professional instead of going to college. Before I start this video, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at underscore the only Wallace and also go subscribe to my second channel called 10K Wallace Vlogs. Now let's get to the video. So first, let's talk about Jaden Hardy. Now we all know Jaden is currently a senior attending Coronado High School that's located in Henderson, Nevada. He's ranked second in the ESPN Top 100 in the class of 2021, holding 29 plus offers. And he also is ranked number one shooting guard in the nation. So here's the thing, you guys. It's very interesting to see that Jaden Hardy was at the Big Baller Brand Mansion with LaMelo Ball and his manager, Jermaine Jackson, on draft day. Now, off the back, I could tell that he has really good connection with these guys because during the Instagram Live, Jermaine Jackson was just talking to Jaden and just goofing around with him, telling him, tell the guys that you're up next and Jaden was like I'm up next and he was goofing around and he also was talking to Jermaine Jackson's son who also played college basketball so you can tell that he's really cool with these guys and that's why I'm decided to bring y'all this video because I really want to talk about this definitely with Jermaine Jackson talking to Jaden Hardy just them having the connection together we all know Jermaine he currently is LaMelo Ball's manager but here's the thing Jermaine Jackson took LaMelo under his wing once LaMelo went back to high school so basically throughout his entire senior year and we all know Jaden is currently a senior in high school and he's decided to go to college or go on a professional route the same thing basically how LaMelo Ball was dealing with throughout his senior year so it is kind of interesting I'm not sure if Jermaine Jackson is also Jaden Hardy's manager as well I'm not 100% sure about that but the looks of it it seems like he really is connected with Jermaine Jackson and I wouldn't be surprised if you know, Jermaine ends up becoming his manager, just like how he's managing LaMelo Ball. Because Jaden Hardy, he really is next. He's ranked second in his class, like I say, holding 29 multiple Division One offers. Like, Jaden, he really is that guy. And the thing that I really like about his game is that he's a very versatile combo guard. He's 6'4", 185 pounds. He already has an NBA body. The thing about Jaden Hardy is that he can play the point guard and shooting guard position. He know how to run the offense, such as if he do play the point guard position, he can distribute the ball. He know how to get his teammates open shots. He really is a really good playmaker. Like Jaden Hardy is really nice, you guys. Y'all have to watch his game. And on top of that, when it comes to him scoring the ball, he know how to get his team a bucket anytime he wants. He just scored 39 points against CBC, which was Bronny James club team which is basically the Sierra Canyon basketball team. So it's just like Jaden Hardy, man, even though he's playing with his club team, Arenado, he is still getting buckets. He is still letting people know who he is. Another thing about Jaden is that he's very athletic. Like this guy know how to jump out of the gym. Just watching his highlights, yo, he's something special and he's only going to get better. And also throughout his senior year, you can tell that he's improved his jump shot a lot because just watching some of his games with his club team, Arenado, I have been seeing him just shooting off the dribble more. He would literally come down the court and pull up for a three in his cash all the time. He already jumps extremely high. He already has a long wingspan, so it's already hard to stop him when he's trying to shoot the ball. And the fact that he's improving his jump shot is just making him even more better. In my opinion, I always compared him to Antonio Blakeney. 
Antonio always has been like a good jump shooter. He's been a versatile guard. And it's just like, I always see Jaden Hardy just like Antonio because they're kind of like the same size and they play very similar. But if you know about Antonio, then you will understand why I compare him to Jaden. So when you look at his 24 seven sports profile, there's a huge crystal ball going on between the professional route and University of Kentucky. Now, just looking at the lead experts, Jerry Meyer, who's the director of basketball scouting, He's saying that Jaden Hardy is going to go towards the professional route, while Chris Fisher, he's saying that he feels like Jaden Hardy is going to go towards University of Kentucky. And when you look at the expert averages, it's 50-50. So right now, Jaden, he's decided to go towards the professional route or go to college. Now, just seeing him with Jermaine Jackson on draft day with LaMelo Ball in them, that right there is just telling me that he's going to go towards the professional route because... Like I said, Jermaine had LaMelo under his wing. LaMelo did not go to college, and LaMelo ended up becoming the third pick in the 2020 NBA draft. So the fact that Jaden Hardy is a top guy in his class and it's like he's under Jermaine Jackson wing as well, you already know. It seems like he might go towards the G League or something, but I'm not 100% sure. But in my opinion, just seeing how Kentucky is doing this year and everything, I don't even see the point of him even going towards the college route because yo you're going to get drafted if you keep doing what you're doing go to the g league just look at Jalen green and jonathan kaminga they're already going to get drafted this upcoming year so Jaden hardy can go to the g league or he can just go straight to the league if adam silver ends up changing the one and done rule for high school players to go straight to the nba during the 2022 nba draft if you guys don't know nothing about that, just go look it up. The one and done rules should be taking full effect during the 2022 NBA draft, but we just got to see what's going to happen. But I want you guys to leave y'all comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about this and which route would y'all like Jaden Hardy to take. I thank you guys for watching. If you make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you press the notification button. TK Gang, we out. When you're about to find out who's here, do you are? Wayla! Have a look at this virtual draft. I'm really cool tonight. Yeah, this our hey security at all security right here, y'all. Here we go. I got you. I got. I'm, I'm in the building. Let, relax. I'm, on, I'm there. I'm there. I'm right behind you, nephew. I'm right behind you, brother. All right, snap back, Mike. Mike, snap back too. Snap back too on the hat. Business. We got action. Snap back one. Snap back one, Mike. Yeah, he got a he, he got a high top. Snap back one. Get back at you. Still in the context of that pandemic. What's up, baby? Come to a decision that could safely yeah, play along with the community. Yes, man. Yes, that's a mutual brother. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Free sound. We came to the yes, decision in pretty much the same way we came to the decision that we could play safely. Hey, man, let me see your hat. What? A group of I ain't ready for that. I told you so. If you ain't ready for that. <laughs> Come on, tell me how we get there. <laughs> Player Association, and it's a joint determination balancing lots of factors. It is almost time to welcome in this new class of draftees. And one of the ideas of Paul Marks is an onboarding process for these rookies. There's no summer league this year, there's no in person symposium. How is the league compensating for the lack of those things for these guys? You said no in person. Hey, man, tell him you was next. I got Sean Roberts with the next. Nick, 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 you know, is, you know, is, is captain, you know, on a it's fast track, and, uh, you know, by spring and summer, yeah, we'll we start to see Billy mass Barker distribution of those vaccines. We in fact, yesterday, when we had this event for the players, they said, you know, and I, you know, now that I'm a parent, too, I now feel terrible for the draftees. I mean, when they say they've been waiting for a while, they're also young, 
and I think about their parents now, in some case, time, cases more than these young players, because they, well, their players, I mean, their, I mean, their parents have been waiting even longer. And it's just a big disappointment. Now, I mean, I'm sure we'll see tonight by video some fun celebrations at home, but it's not the same thing. So I promise them all that, that once things get back to normal, we're going to have a huge ball for them of some kind, you know, maybe around the summer league in Las Vegas, but yeah. we owe them a big party, and well, so we'll, we'll find a way to do that, and we'll also go back, I mean, remember, for our best players, you know, think how many years our top players have been in the league, so they're going to be around for a long time, so even if we have to do more formal in-person training in a year from now, or even two years from now, we'll still do it. Yeah, well, I look forward to seeing that celebration when it's able to happen. Thank you so much for joining us, Commissioner. It is, it's, it's really going to be a special evening. Thank you. Oh, great to be here. I'm really hoping the league of work can get all of us on the guests.